Hello! <laughs> Welcome to my channel, The Universe Within. My name's Amanda. I'm going to be doing a timeless collective tarot reading today in my series, Messages from Spirit. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the energy, um, what it's been doing while I'm pulling the spread. Um, I also offer energetic services and um, Reiki charged skincare and hygiene products and pet products if you're interested in that. I also have some smudge. Oh my gosh, thank you, Spirit. That's what I have. I have I've got all this smudge that I've wrapped in uh, packages. Oh, I'm gonna leave that one upright. That one came out just like that. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't haven't listed it on any of my stuff. I have not listed it on any of my stuff. Okay, that's what I'm going to be doing today apparently <laughs> but in the meantime if you do want um are interested in my smudge that i i grow it uh organically and i wrap it and i charge it with um reiki so it enhances all of the properties and you're also putting reiki into anything that you're um smudging i've got juniper and pine right now pine burns a lot like sweet grass but I have it wrapped in sizzle, which is, or sizzle, I don't know how you say it, which is a, uh, a Mexican plant that when you dry it, it turns into like a rope type thing. So kind of like organic twine, but it's a, a something a little different. I also teach Reiki classes. If you're interested in getting certified, I don't, I do one-to-one -one classes. I don't think it's ethical to <clears throat> not I mean to just put it as like a download I don't feel like you I, I just don't feel like that's ethical but I'm also I have a background as, in teaching so <laughs> that's probably part of that but something of that caliber like yeah you can do online classes but something of that caliber <clears throat> you need to have somebody there to help you um, in that moment I feel like to connect deeper but anyway on to the energy sorry for all the long rambling on to the energy. Uh, we had a coronal mass ejection last week that arrived sometime like shit. <laughs> Ooh, that one grounding. Whenever they, I throw them on the floor. Dang it. Sorry, that's loud. Whenever I throw them on the floor, I feel like they're saying ground that in, bitch. <laughs> but anyway, we had a coronal mass ejection last week. I think it grounded, it hit Earth sometime, I think it was Thursday night, Friday night, something like that. <clears throat> and then we had um, some G storms and uh, for a few days, we've had radio blackouts, which is UV saturation almost every single day. Yesterday was the first day we had in like a week. I check on it anyway, even though I don't get a, a notification. So what have we been doing? We've been balancing our ancestral trauma and karma that we've inherited. <clears throat> the collective has been working on poverty consciousness. With, uh, with all of that, there's been a lot of illness in various forms, such as the flu. Some people are getting COVID again. Um, colds, things like that. And it's all... Uh, clearing from our template and as last readings last week's reading indicated that the sun was going to be popping off through Lionsgate well apparently today is the first day of the Lionsgate portal Whew, okay three of cups past present and future she's not she's got her eyes closed to the future and she's looking straight ahead at the present the past the past she's looking she's not really looking at it She's just kind of like staring off into it. Weird. I always think this card looks like Ariana Grande. I do. But anyway, it's the triple moon goddess on here, basically. Um, and there's, a, there's that golden disc in the back I've never really paid much attention to before, but it's standing out right now. And she's holding like a crystal ball, but it looks like the moon here. So the uh, past, present, future, looking to the future, not to the future, staying in the present. Why did I say that? Staying in the present. 
because our future is manifested through the present and it's time for us to move out of dwelling on the things that have happened and we need to look forward like right here in this now um, and not worry about how it's going to work out in the future ah because we don't have to worry about it because we got the ten of pinnacles do you see that <clears throat> ten of pinnacles is one of the best cards i feel like in in the tarot deck um i think we got this a couple weeks ago when i was talking about the 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 who's in whoville yahoo glory yahoo glory <laughs> sorry you have to listen to that but yeah, it's like together we're weaving this beautiful new chapter. Tens are about completion too. It's like whatever you've been dreaming about. You see how she's sleeping like a baby? And it's almost like, yeah, there's this, this shadow. Like we've been clinging to this shadow, but I'm not really getting the shadow part. It's like while you're dreaming, whatever whatever your dreams are and even your dreams speaking to you, it's something in the shadows because there's that moon again behind her. This one I feel like is a sun disc. This is more like a moon. And this is the shadow, the intuition. Like, we know something's coming. I've been feeling it brewing, but I haven't had really anything stirring in the physical. And it's been stressing me out. And, um... You know, just I get daily reminders about what's not happening. So it's making it even more difficult for me to focus on the positive. Um, but I am, I am, I am. I've dug myself out of this deep hole of darkness. And I'm sure y'all have too, because it's not just me. It's like I, I go through these things two days to two weeks before the collective. And it's been like three weeks since I had this major this major um, purge that came through that triggered um, a lot of physical shedding and then I got a cold after that <clears throat> and a lot of people are starting to experience that now just in the past week so it's like uh, two weeks ahead we're just now okay I want to I want to pick out these colors this is what I'm noticing I don't know how to pick them up and put them all together how's it gonna look to you guys Okay, no, I think I need to do it this way. <laughs> Trying to see it in the thing. Okay, do you see how we've got all this orange? There's some orange. There's a lot of pinks and reds in here, but there's orange, 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 and actually this goes over here. Pander, come on, get your head out of your butt. See that? You see all those orange? That's the sacral. That's the womb space. And it's like creativeness whatever we're creating that that's been that's standing out that orange but here the nine the, or the two of inspiration we got this last week we were just on the other side we're just now in through this little this completion this cycle has completed we're about to manifest what we've been dreaming about and focusing about or focusing on our dreams are about to be realized and we're just now starting to bring that through like we're looking for it i think that's what that means is like we're looking for it because she's like with a telescope i'll see it but look trust see this we have the four of swords this was the two of wands this is the four of swords and she look again it's like what she's been dreaming on what she's been manifesting they're like sit back relax and enjoy now sit back relax and enjoy just wait for these dreams to come true that's exactly what I feel. That's what this is saying. Ah, because then we got the full energy and new beginning. Hallelujah. Fresh start, new beginning. And I want you to see here the fool. The fool has climbed up through the cosmos into this desert. And it's about like she's walking into nothing. Like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And she's just happy as fuck. Do you see her? She's like, boop, 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 not paying attention, not doesn't have a care in the world. And she's headed towards something magical and she's got pure trust and faith in the universe that something will be there for her even though she sees nothing but you can barely see right here there's something there's a tiny little bridge so there's like a a little tiny gap and there's the Sun that's shining through which also echoes 
the there's like little light coming out around this like the it's almost there we're just dipping our toes in the water and then again i noticed the same type of a theme with the little rays of light there's rays of light coming out of this this and this <clears throat> okay the brat oh man i hate it when they give us that card the flirt rescued what okay so the brat is talking about here the brat this talks about not being grateful for what you got i think we got this a couple weeks ago too not being grateful for what we have we're too busy focusing on what's not appeared versus all the awesome things that are happening so Count your blessings. I know that sounds super cliche and corny, but man, sometimes we just have to. That that resonance of gratitude does a lot, and sometimes it's so hard to yank yourself through the sludge to get back to that that tier. And the reason why we feel like we backpedal is because every time we level up, think about it as a fish that goes from a little tiny bowl to a bigger bowl, then to a bigger tank, then to a pond, then to an ocean. It's like you start to get comfortable in that space, then you get dumped into something new that's a lot more vast and you've got to try to find your sea legs, right? To um, adjust to that. And so you feel like you backpedal and you backslide, but each time it's because we're leveling up and we're trying to find our new, we're trying to find stability in our new surroundings. Um, <clears throat> But these have been happening so quickly, like these transformations. I can't even believe how fast we shed. We're, we've also been doing a timeline shift, <clears throat> like the last 24 hours, 48 hours. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm feeling so flimmy all of a sudden in this reading. Maybe it has to do, whenever I get symptoms when I'm doing energy work or readings, it's not necessarily mine. It's the energy I'm picking up on. So maybe it's like speaking what you want into existence. <clears throat> we're speaking your truth. So we're being, we're not, we're not appreciating what we have. And last week I was talking about, you know, are you healthy? Do you have any diseases? Do you have cancer? Do you have any terminal illnesses? If not, congratulations like that's a fucking blessing do you have all of your limbs do you have do you have is your body fully intact you may not like how it looks you may not like that but do you have both of your legs and your arms and all of your digits can you move are you paralyzed like these are basic things that we take for granted and i'm not saying that I don't believe necessarily that everyone that has something like that has a disadvantage to them. It's just a, just another path to learning um, and healing things. Um, so anyway, the flirt. Again, I feel like we got this recently in the last couple weeks too. Flirting around with an idea. I've been flirting around with, for me, I've been flirting around with the idea of putting my products online on social media i want to do it on instagram but in order to do it on instagram you have to do it on facebook and i loathe facebook and i had asked one of my friends you know to manage that for me and it just wasn't working out like it it just and it's because i have to do it myself and that's what keeps coming around so people people like things that are accessible they don't want to have to do multiple clicking they want to click one thing and have it right there they want to see it right now. They don't want to have to spend more than three seconds. So that's something that I need to do. But what is it that you're needing to do? What is it that you've been flirting around with? It can speak to flirting with other people. And this could be with relationships too. But this is more about ourselves. We're being, brad we're being bratty about, ooh, the path is already, this is the thing. They've already showed us the path that we need to take but we're bitching about it and we're flirting around with the idea we haven't executed it that's what that's about um but also in these two cards these fairies have oh my gosh have purple wings which is transmutation and i bathed in transmutative light this morning because i don't know i went to i felt great yesterday 
I woke up and I had like those old feelings coming through. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to wake up like this. So I meditated immediately to help transmute that. Rescued assistance. This is the rescue. These are like these little dudes. These little, I don't know what you call them. They look like little devils. This is like a little brat dude, but they don't have wings. And they're like, I don't know. I don't know if this means anything to you. There's like a little daisy that they're hopping on and they're trying to save each other. Okay. If you're, you have drawn this card, you might be in danger of relying too much on other humans. Oh, snap. The answers are all inside. Remember to connect to your own personal inner teacher for guidance. Also check to make sure that you are not trying to rescue others. Ooh, they, mu they too must follow their own inner truth. This does not mean that you can't receive or give advice, but you should take all advice and check it thoroughly with your inner knowing to make sure that it's for your highest good. This is the point where I want to remind you your guide's job is to guide you to make the right this decisions, to, to guide you to make the right decisions for you. Not even right, the best decisions for you. Because it may not seem like the right decision on the outside to other people, but it could be to you. Your guide's job isn't, tell, isn't to tell you every move you make. People get caught in this trap and that's why you're gonna loop because you're not learning to listen to yourself and to develop your own intuition and your own internal guidance. I talk to my guides and I ask them for signs and things like that. I don't ask them, what should I do about this? Because they will lie to you eventually. In the beginning, they're gonna, in order to get you to open up and to trust in the universe, they're going to be giving you those cheat codes for you to realize that it's real and that you're not crazy. But once you get to the point where you've developed enough they're gonna be giving you bad advice on purpose just <clears throat> to teach you the lesson to quit asking them for every single step you make. There are some people that reach out to me and they don't listen to their own internal guidance. They, they have to go and check with other people to see if it's okay. And I'm just, I don't tell them this because they've gotta learn on their own, but it makes me scream inside, quit giving your power away. You're putting, you're giving the keys to your soul to another person and you're sitting in the passenger seat and let them drive for you. That is really bad idea, guys. Don't do that. That is such a bad idea. But you're going to have to learn that on your own. And I'm saying this because I've done it. I thought, ooh, because I can connect to them. I can get, you know, I can get some cheat codes. I can get some advice because they know everything that's going on. They can see the bigger picture so they can just like maneuver me through all the shit. No, 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 that's not what happened. I thought that's what was happening until it all came crashing down. And then I realized that they were like, yeah, bitch, you didn't li listen to your own guidance. Your own guts were screaming to you to do this one thing and that we were what we were telling you what didn't quite resonate. <clears throat> they did all that to teach me to trust myself no matter what. So don't rely too heavily on other people. If you can ask people for advice all you want, and I listen to advice from other people, but if it doesn't resonate with me, I'm not going to do what other people are telling me to do just because they seem to think they know. And here's the other thing. It could even be the right thing that they're saying to you. It could even be the perfect advice, but if it's not resonating with you at the time, you haven't learned that lesson. So you need to do what you need to do. You can't do things, or you, I mean you can, when I say you can't, that means you can do it, but it's gonna bite you in the ass in the long run. If you take advice from somebody, just because you know that's probably the right thing to do, but you don't feel like it's the right thing to do, you're gonna have to repeat that lesson all over again because you didn't do it because you learned it and because it resonated with you. You did it because it seemed like, you know, somebody else told you to do it and it seemed like it was a good idea. It wasn't like a light bulb went off and was like, oh shit, yes, ah, that's exactly what it is. So some people really need to hear that. You can't, like, 
you are your we i am just a tool for you to take what resonates i'm just a tool for you your guides are just a tool crystals are just tools reiki is just a tool we can do it all on our own sometimes we need a little help yes but nobody's going to come and rescue us like last week we said somebody uh you know nobody's going to come in and deliver you the life of your dreams on a silver platter you have to take aligned action so that's what they're saying quit bitching about that's the breath quit bitching about this quit bitching about what's it's not showing up and how things are playing out that's all designed to push you and get you out of your comfort zone quit flirting around with these things that you want to do with your life and um take aligned action and rescue yourself be your own savior okay Hathor Light Codes, Light Immersion, Full System Upgrade, Power Recall. Let's read this book. This is uh, out of a deck. Um, it's called Gateway of Light Activation. My friend Robin gave this to me. She somehow got two of these and she gave me one. So thank you for this. Okay. Hathor Light Codes. I, so I'm not super familiar with this one. I just uh, mainly go, I'm an intuitive reader, so I go off of what I'm feeling off the cards okay in this gateway hathor is the figurehead of an intergalactic race of beings called the hathors there's a good chance that the ancient egyptians were in touch with this divine race as evidenced by okay we don't need to know the history what are you trying to tell us the divine mission is to activate light upon earth interlinked with both the energy of the central sun that's sirius and venus they bestow solar light blessings and ignite the energy of unconditional love within when you receive this light card they know they are ushering in great blessings yay i want to say i saw something so you have tropical and sidereal astrology and then i can't think of what the um the eastern astrology is the indian astrology i can't i can't think of what that one's called but anyway, there are three different ones. The sidereal is, um, is based on the fixed stars, um, which honestly, both tropical and sidereal make sense to me. Um, you can relate it as tropical is your ego and um, sidereal is your heart space, your, your, your actual physical body. So they both serve a purpose, but I want to say Venus is in Pisces. Or cancer so in tropical we just entered Leo season in sidereal it's cancer so our egos are like oh yeah I'm the shit wanting to be like in that look at me type energy but our hearts are in that mothering nurturing um, sometimes meddling in other people's shit and trying to rescue other people ooh this is the same message from last week okay they're reiterating this some people are trying to save people from their karma some people are trying to help people out when they need to learn the lesson on their own. Um, they need to have that hard time. Quit giving people money. Ooh, you keep giving people money. You keep helping people out and that's not, that's not where it's at. They need to maybe have their lights shut off or get to the point where they're about to get shut off so that they can learn what it is they need to learn to break them out of the cycle. But you're you're helping people too much you're focusing you're focusing too much of your energy on other people instead of yourself you need to funnel that back into you ah oh, maybe people are being brats and maybe ooh, this could be this could be a spiritual fuck boy oh my gosh the brat you know they're flirting with you and they're complaining about what they don't have and you're rescuing them oh What's a spiritual fuckboy, you ask? Those are the ones that aren't spiritual at all, but have learned the mannerisms and the, the crystals and the angel numbers and the terms and the key phrases to use to get you to believe that they are actually on a spiritual path. Spiritual path isn't like, oh, let's wear patchouli and collect crystals and play with tarot cards and go to Burning Man and Coachella and let's be hippies. That's, that's not what it is. It's about spirituality. Being a spiritual being is about this darkness, loving it. I'm loving it. 
and the balance between the dark and the light and and recognizing that those dark energies and befriending them to look at the it's not all love and light positivity that that spirit that a uh, mainstream industrialized version of spirituality is not going to get you anywhere it's going to keep you stuck in these loops because you're not doing shadow work there's more dark in the universe than there is light so we need to nurture and we are both that has to do with your rosh Alay body you want to know about the rosh Alay body that is a, another energetic point within our field that merges us into the darkness and the light equal parts embracing that I am the darkness just as much as I am the light. So anyway, back to the half the word light codes. <clears throat> and it's talking about the gateway and I'm, I'm just gonna go with Sirius. I mean, with the, 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 what do you call it? Lion's Gate. I'm gonna go with that. There is a card in here about Lion's Gate and I'm gonna pull it out and read it anyway. I don't care if I didn't pull it card, pull the card, it has been coming up. Okay, so basically, we're getting, these light codes are bringing us a full system upgrade. We're going to take our motherfucking power back, open up our hearts to unconditional love. And we have the divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, go, God incidences, not go, not coincidences, God incidences. Man, girlfriend, you busted through that dog door like you the motherfucking police. <laughs> she's loud. Um, at least she's not barking. So divine interconnectedness. There's like a portal right there, right? So let's see the divine matrix. Divine matrix. Hey, Bubba Lou. Hi, my sweet boy. You so handsome. Hi, Burker. He wanted to come right over here. He's usually at my feet when I do these and he had to go outside to roll in the sun and the dirt. <laughs> He's got shit all over him. Okay. Everything is connected. Everything that was, is, and ever will be is connected by an invisible, invisible bond of energy uniting every living being from the past, present, and even future. Holy crap, guys, right? That's what I was talking about here. Past, present, future. Okay. Okay, so what am I getting? Download right now. We can manipulate our future. We can manipulate the past through a present moment right now because it's all connected. And when we heal ourselves now, we heal forwards and backwards, right? Timelines forwards and backwards. This isn't a new idea. Every great mystic through the ages has understood that everything is one. And now scientists are beginning to provide evidence for it. Sweet. This card shows a giant stargate opening up to the universe and a piece of sacred geometry. And this is showing the flower of life. I don't really mess with that one. Um, I'm more into the Christic teachings of the Lotus of Life based on the geometry. Am I a math person? Absolutely not. But I've taken classes and I've just seen this. And when you when you work when they work the math out and you watch it, the 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 Metatronic Flower of Life, it's a closed system. It's a closed system that will eventually collapse on itself because it's not it's not balanced it's not balanced <clears throat> but the lotus of life look that up the crystal spiral that's what aligns us to the zero point field and the organic time matrix and that one is an open system to source where before you know we were closed off from our divinity and our connectedness and this is limiting. You can get so far, you can, about, you can get to maybe dimensions 10 to 12 with this type of geometry that you're working with. If you work with the Christic um, and the crystal spiral and the Christic geometry, you're gonna be able to access your full multidimensionality through 15. And that's the, um, that is the 12 tree activation that I do. Even in the Kabbalah and other teachings, you're going to see that it's only their tree of life is 10. You get when you and it's not symmetrical, right? It's not symmetrical, but the Christic teachings, they're symmetric and they're solid. So are you going to die? Like that's a, a one big dualistic thing that's in the Christic community that are just like Ashiana Dean's puppets who <clears throat> Ashana brings forward a lot of great information, but she also has allowed other beings to take over her body. 
so I don't resonate with everything she says. And you shouldn't take everything that somebody says as gospel. Don't do that. Um, take your own truth, your own inner light. So back to that. Um, it's a finite. This is finite. This is a finite geometry that keeps you locked. The other geometry is infinite and keeps you open and ever expanding. This one will eventually collapse on itself, which is what we're trying to escape out of this whole thing. So I do want you to say that or see that and that stargates aren't external of us. <clears throat> As we are all one, we have inner stargates. And that is what the 12 tree activation that I offer does is opens your inner stargates to be able to travel through yourself. And your 12 tree in your body is a map of the cosmos and you can by working with these different points you can access that through yourself you don't have to go external it's not something that our star you are the portal we are the portal right okay that's what i want to say okay um nothing is happening by chance and that even when we can't fully comprehend it there's a greater plan unfolding. Okay. I know that was really long winded, but that was a big message. These are big messages we needed to have. This card, I knew what this one was. It's funny. Don't take it personally. Cause this is it. I don't know why they have it like this when the rest of the cards are here. So it kind of sucks because I almost threw this one out cause I thought it was fake. I mean, it was just like a, not like a throwaway card, but there's actually something there. But I also always know what this card is. So I, this one, this one came out for itself. I didn't have a feeling, you know, I tend to, have, I don't know. I, I don't like how it's got this here because it kind of, I know what the card is and I don't like that. But this one did come out on its own if you did see that. Don't take it personally. If someone starts to speak unkindly to me, I'll remember that they've got something going on that no one ha that has nothing to do with me. Like maybe they just pooped their pants. Yes, that's probably it. Also remember... You can be very vulnerable and open and loving to somebody and they can receive you in the wrong way. And that's because they're mirroring their own wounds, their own ego, their own trauma. And they're, it has nothing to do with the fact that you said this, that, or the other. If somebody can't accept that they make mistakes or they're at fault, no matter how gently you bring it to their attention, they're gonna act like an angry scorpion. So just, I know it's really difficult not to take it personally, but we can, whether it's a stranger, people on the internet, or people that you know in real life. Letting go. I don't dwell on bad things that happened. I let things go because I have enough heavy things to carry around. And also grudges aren't a great look. Man, that is so true. Um, there are there are some people that will hold a grudge forever and a day, and it does nothing but torment. It does nothing but torment you and it keeps you closed off from from the beauty of things and it keeps you stuck in this brat energy of being ungrateful and um, you're not you're stuck in the past when you are holding a grudge you are stuck in the past and you can't move forward and you're just gonna be stuck and stuck and stuck and who wants to wake up every day and be angry and be in a bad mood that's rough that's rough man ultimate potential I choose to live a life of my fullest potential. This card keeps coming out for people. I trust that th this will draw me towards experiences and people that support my growth and accomplishment. Tuning into this frequency, I now reach higher heights than I ever thought possible knowing that's an option. Why would I have ever turned into anything else? I'm looking at you, tuned into anything else. I'm looking at you, smooth jazz talk, smooth jazz and talk radio. <clears throat> Yeah, tune it into some hippie sabotage. I love hippie sabotage. That's that's some good. Like, I don't know if you're a person that when you hear music with bass in it, it just gets you hyped. I've also been really into uh, ASAP Rocky lately. I feel like I've said this before on here, but I just figured him. I just figured out ASAP Rocky, and um, like he's not on the level of Kendrick Lamar or Mac Miller, but he's there. He's actually got substance, and he's not just a mumble rapper. And uh, I've been, they, my guides have been playing uh, Praise the Lord um, is a song that he has. And that will, that'll get me hype. Okay. 
This is one that flew out. Remember, it flew out and landed on the floor. It's the Page of Wands, New Beginnings. Look, there's also a moon there. The moon is a theme. I believe today's the new moon. I believe today's the new moon, today or tomorrow. We're at the halfway point in this uh, full moon cycle. Uh, that super moon that we had, things are coming to fruition. There's also a white tiger here, the black and the white, remember? <gasps> Look here. These have stripes, right? I don't know if you can see, it's kind of washed out on here, but there's a bunch of little squiggly things. They're more of like a gray, right? But it's reminding me of the stripes on this little tiger down here. This is a child. I feel like it's, a, it's like harnessing, your inner child has a message for you. Take that shadow energy, okay, take that shadow energy and turn it into, transmute it, remember with the violet I was talking about here? Transmute it into power, take that, okay. So one thing, if you played sports, um, like my dad, he played football and he grew up in a very abusive home and so he would take his anger out on the football field and he did very, 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 very well and excelled in sports because he took that and that's how he got his aggression out was on the field and they're saying the same thing is like take those feelings and funnel it into something creative take all of that and create for the sake of creating find something that you love to do quit hair carrying around your heavy load you have a potential to fulfill and our inner child is trying to tell us have fun turn on music dance around be an idiot nurture that shadow aspect <gasps> nine of pinnacles queen of pinnacles woo -wee. Ooh, ooh. we got some good stuff going on we got the ten of pinnacles up here we've got all these dream what was that noise i think that was uh, a big truck that had some weird like new tires that make that weird noise that was very bizarre okay but anyway We've got all these happy cards, right? These are all happy. I don't see anything here other than the brat is talking about those things. But um, so yeah, we've got these downloads, this new inspiration where our inner child is trying to communicate with us, like have fun, let go of this heaviness. Our time has arrived. They've been telling us it's arrived. This cycle's completing, right? The cycle's 10 of, Ten of Pentacles completion, wrapping this up, wrapping this up. She's like holding this little magic thing. It's like making a wish on here. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is like open up and receive, baby. Open up and receive. We got you. We got you. Holy crap, this is already 37 minutes long. I don't know how these readings get so dang long. Okay. Birds. The birds want to say something. Bird. Bird. Oh, okay. The Osprey and the Starling. Your success is now at hand. Allow the abundance to flow to you effortlessly. Now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. Yes, open up to receive. That's what they're saying, man. Let it go, let it go. The only thing that is holding you back from your abundance, prosperity, this new chapter, this new chapter from your dreams is you, is this grudge, this, this burden that you're carrying. Because we've got, remember, we have the fool and we've got, we're just on the other side. We're just barely a, get a, catching a glimpse of this. It is time for us to allow and to receive. Is there anything else you want to say, spirit? something out of this this is just an oracle just a, a straight up message from the uni um, if you want to have a personal reading from me again I am available the universe has my back wasn't that the last message they gave us last week hilarious I see you spirit I see you tune into a new frequency open your heart up for this activation that's coming through on this lion gate lion's gate Things are happening, things are moving, but us looking at the past is fucking up our future because we're not staying focused in the present and being grateful and not flirting around with the ideas, or we're just flirting around with the ideas instead of actually like pursuing them. And it could also be, like I said, a romantic thing and stop saving people. 
and stop looking for somebody to save you. You save yourself by opening your heart to receive, okay? All right, love you guys. Have a very blessed day and namaste.